I'm Chris from Simul and today we'll be covering the use of map textures within TrueSky. We'll be setting up using the TrueSky sequencer with the maps as well as creating our own within a 2D application and some of the do's and don'ts when using them. First up we're going to need to have our engine open and so we're going to be using the Unreal Engine here but I believe that the setup is pretty similar when working in Unity. Um, and here we've just got a fresh map. I'm going to initialize TrueSky and I'm going to quickly change some of the settings to ones that I prefer using moment there we go and I'm going to throw in a new asset so we're doing this complete from fresh so when throwing in a new sequence asset we need to add a new cloud layer and a new keyframe it should be fine and we'll need to change the time slice. Get our class to pop in. Perfect. So when using a map texture with True Sky, you need to go to the sequencer and then within the cloud layer, not the cloud keyframe, the cloud layer, you will find the map texture here. One of the nuances of using us is you need to put the text you're going to use within a specific folder and that folder can be found by locating your Unreal Engine build then going into Engine, Plugins, TrueSky Plugin, Resources, Media and Textures and there'll be some in there already which we supply but none of them will be cloud textured so you'll either need to get one online or create one for yourself and so I'm going to be using this one here that I found online and all you do is just open it and then you'll have to alter one of the values to refresh your scene I'll alter this one put it up my cloudiness all the way and you can see we're now respecting the map that we just put in and if we look on grid view you can see that is the image that we went for these clouds will behave exactly the same as normal clouds just almost being masked or as though they're in a volume and so if we had to say lower the cloud noise like so they'll behave exactly the same and if we were to set up another keyframe and move the keyframe they will move like a normal cloud layer should so next up we're going to do creation of them and it's pretty simple they work kind of like any old map that you would use in other things so we're gonna just do a simple one paint but you can use any 2d application of your choice the main thing you need to do make sure that your background is black and then anything that you want to be made yourself like to come through you make sure that you use a white brush like so and then ensure to save it out and then head over to the sequencer again And then find where you saved your file, save my here, copy it, put it in the folder, and you'll see. Just like that, you now use your map text. And then you can alter your settings so the height is pretty high on this, making some artifacting, like so. Uh, I hope this is helpful and it'll uh, open up a bit more control over how you set up your skies within the scene. Uh, and as always, we're pretty excited to see what people create with these methods. Um, feel free to tag either Simul or True Sky. We're on most social networking platforms. And uh, if you want to have a further discussion about all things True Sky or you have any questions you want to ask, feel free to come over to the Slack channel or to send an email over to contact at Simul. Or visit our new website with the uh, Q&A channel, which is under the support section. Thank you for listening, and uh, good luck. As mentioned earlier in the video, the Unity pipeline is very similar to that of the Unreal pipeline. You get up the sequencer here, and you go to your cloud layer, map texture. The only difference is, is that you will paste your 
texture file which we're using a smiley that I made earlier in paint and you're putting it within the top of the directory you have it then hidden in some folders and you load this you have to once again update your sequence like so now you can see it's put the map texture in as expected and you'll need to do tweaks but everything else will be the same as with Unreal.